Welcome to our exploration of one of the most advanced maritime research facilities in the world, the Maneuvering and Seakeeping Basin, or MASC, located at the Naval Surface Warfare Center in Carterock, Maryland. This facility is a cornerstone of naval engineering and innovation, providing invaluable insights into the performance and capabilities of naval vessels. Join us as we dive into the fascinating world of ship simulations and the critical role they play in maritime research. The Maneuvering and Seakeeping Basin at Carter Rock has a storied history dating back to its establishment in the mid-20th century. The mask was initially constructed in the 1960s with the goal of advancing naval research and development. At the time of its original construction, the facility cost approximately $15 million, a significant investment aimed at addressing the complex challenges associated with naval architecture and marine engineering. This substantial investment underscored the importance placed on naval research and the need for cutting edge facilities. MASC is an impressive structure. The basin itself is approximately 360 feet long, 240 feet wide, and 20 feet deep, holding 12 million gallons of water. This vast size allows for the testing of large-scale models and even full-scale sections of ships. The facility underwent a major renovation completed in 2013, which cost about $110 million. This upgrade included new wave-making technology and advanced instrumentation, further enhancing its capabilities. One of the most remarkable aspects of MASC is its ability to create highly realistic and controllable wave environments. The basin is equipped with 216 individually controlled wave boards capable of producing regular waves, irregular waves, and even simulated storm conditions. This technology allows researchers to simulate virtually any sea state from calm waters to raging storms, providing a comprehensive understanding of how ships will perform in real world conditions. The towing carriages at MASC are another critical component. These carriages can move models at precise speeds and along controlled paths, allowing for detailed studies of ship maneuvering and sea keeping. The data collected from these experiments is crucial for designing ships that are not only seaworthy, but also efficient and safe. The carriage system can move models at speeds up to 20 feet per second, allowing for the simulation of high-speed maneuvers. Ship simulations at mass cover a wide range of scenarios and vessel types, from small craft to large warships. These simulations are essential for several reasons. First, they provide a cost-effective way to test and refine ship designs before they are built. By identifying potential issues early in the design process, Engineers can make necessary adjustments, saving both time and money. Second, ship simulations help improve safety. Understanding how a ship will behave in various sea conditions allows for the development of safer and more reliable vessels. This knowledge is particularly important for naval vessels, which must operate in some of the most challenging and dangerous environments in the world. Let's delve into some specific examples of how MASC has been used in ship simulations. One notable case is the development of the littoral combat ship. The LCS is designed to operate in coastal waters where it must navigate through complex and often treacherous environments. Simulations at MASC allowed engineers to study the ship's maneuverability and stability leading to design improvements that enhanced its performance and safety. Another example is the testing of aircraft carrier designs. Aircraft carriers are among the largest and most complex vessels in the world, and their performance in various sea states is critical to their mission success. MASC simulations have been instrumental in refining the hull designs of these massive ships, ensuring they can safely launch and recover aircraft even in rough seas. One of the most fascinating ships tested at MASC is the USS Zumwalt DDG-1000, the Navy's most advanced destroyer. 
The Zumwalt class destroyers represent a significant leap forward in naval technology and design. These ships feature a unique tumble home hull design, which slopes inward above the waterline, giving the ship a distinctive and futuristic appearance. The USS Zumwalt is designed for multi-mission capability, including land attack and littoral dominance. It incorporates advanced stealth features, making it harder to detect on radar, and it is equipped with cutting-edge weaponry and sensor systems. The ship's integrated power system allows it to produce and distribute vast amounts of electricity, which can be used to power advanced weaponry, such as rail guns and lasers in the future. Testing the USS Zumwalt at Mask involved a comprehensive series of simulations to evaluate its stability, maneuverability, and sea keeping performance. Engineers needed to ensure that the innovative tumble home hull design would provide the necessary stability in various sea conditions, including during high speed maneuvers and in rough seas. One of the key advantages of the tumble home design is its ability to enhance the ship's stealth characteristics by reducing its radar cross section. However, this design also presented challenges in terms of stability, particularly in heavy seas. MASK's advanced simulation capabilities allowed engineers to test and refine the hull design, ensuring that the Zumwalt could maintain stability and performance even in adverse conditions. The research conducted at MASK is continually pushing the boundaries of naval engineering. Recent innovations include the use of advanced computational fluid dynamics to complement physical testing. By combining physical experiments with sophisticated computer models, researchers can achieve even greater accuracy in predicting ship performance. Looking ahead, the future of ship simulations at MASK holds exciting possibilities. Emerging technologies such as autonomous vessels and advanced materials are opening new avenues for research. The ability to simulate the behavior of these cutting edge technologies in a controlled environment will be crucial for their successful development and deployment. The MASK facility also plays a vital role in the development of unmanned surface vehicles. By simulating different operational scenarios, researchers can refine the designs of these autonomous vessels to ensure they perform optimally in a wide range of conditions. Before we continue, let me ask you, what do you think is the most challenging aspect of designing a ship that can operate in both calm waters and stormy seas? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. The maneuvering and seakeeping basin at Carter Rock is a testament to the importance of advanced research and innovation in naval engineering. Through its state-of-the-art facilities and groundbreaking simulations, MASK provides invaluable insights that drive the design and development of the world's most advanced naval vessels. Whether it's ensuring the safety of sailors or enhancing the capabilities of warships, the work done at MASK plays a critical role in maintaining the strength and security of our naval forces. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the heart of naval engineering excellence. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights into the world of maritime technology and innovation.